Okay, I'm gonna bring you all a little trip through our room, 18700. Oh my God, let's hear it for upgrades. Walk down the hall. There's these little walls here. Oh, there's a little door. What's behind the door? Oh, it's a little bathroom. How about that? That's very nice. Always good to have a bathroom. Very nice fixtures and things. Oh, now we're coming into the main room. Oh, there's a nice little foyer. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, there's another door. What's behind door number two? Look behind door number two. There's a TV and there's a sofa. So a nice little TV room. That sofa folds out into a bed and there's lots of storage space in here. So if there were two or four more of you, you would have plenty of storage space of your own. Oh my gosh, there's a closet here. How about that? And another door. Let's see what's behind the door. Another bathroom, but this one has a shower and it has nice counter space and some good supplies and towels and things. Very nice. So this is the TV room. And it actually is for people three and four or five and six or however many you have in your cabin. All right, so we're gonna go back out to the main cabin. And now we're gonna see the main room again. Ooh, look at that, look at that. There's Rick going out toward the patio. I mean the balcony. Yes, there's really as much space as it seems like there is. This cabin is 1,500 square feet or 1,459, something like that. But it's bigger than most New York apartments. And many houses, there's a TV gonna walk out onto the balcony because we're going through all the doors. Here's the first balcony. That's why I said the first balcony. Oh, the table and chairs for breakfast. Oh my goodness, you can have breakfast outside. Look at this view. Oh my God, are you wetting yourself? I'm wetting myself. Oh, look at that. And there's lounge chairs, good. And there are, there's a door here. And this door, we're not gonna go through at the moment because we're gonna see this door later in just a minute. So we're gonna go back in the house. The house, oh my God, listen to me, I called it the house. And there's the indoor dining room table. Oh, and there's another door, look at that. Let's go through this door. What do we see? We found the master bedroom. Look at that. That big, huge king size bed and controls and things. Another TV. Gorgeous, gorgeous picture window so we can see out. Look at that view. There's Rick on the balcony, figuring out the second balcony. And here we are. Oh, this bed looks so comfy. And we're going. Oh, and there's that one of those other doors. Look at this, another door. Where does this door go? It goes out here to the second secret balcony which is smaller than the other balconies, but is off the bedroom. And that's the only entrance to it, near as I can tell. Um, oh, now we're in the bathroom. This is the main bathroom. See the secret balcony, but you can't get out with it from the bathroom. Haven robes, because everyone needs a haven robe. Look at that, ooh. Beautiful marble everywhere. Shower stall, you can shower with the window open because you're on the 18th floor, but if you're shot, <clears throat> there is a little shade that goes down for privacy, but if you're not shy, you just put the shade up. All right, and there's the bathtub. Again, bigger than many cabins aboard Norwegian Bliss. And here is the toilet, hooray, in its own private little room. And there is a pair of sinks and a nice mirror. All right, and we're leaving the bathroom. Oh, but we're not going through the bedroom because there's another door. Oh my, where does this go? It goes to the walk-in closet. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, and there is more storage space and pillows. Oh my God, and where does the walk-in closet end up? It ends up right here in the kitchen where we have an espresso machine, some tea, some ice, a little wet bar, some water, the room service menu, a whole bunch of other things to do. 
And there's another shot of the main room from the perspective of the dining room. Oh, the champagne. We totally forgot about the champagne. They left us champagne. All right. All right. Now, see, now this is like, if you're going to be quarantined, this is the room to be quarantined in. All right, if I can get that door open. Oh, okay, close. Open. What am I doing wrong? Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's why it's not pushed. <laughs> Door. Ooh, there's a door out here from the master bedroom. Oh, look at that. Here's the master bedroom from the balcony. Ooh. And there's another little door. Where does this door go, I wonder? This is sort of like a little dead end. It doesn't seem to go much of anywhere. I don't know how to get into here. I don't think it can. But there we are. Norwegian Joy, 18700. And here's our view. We haven't left port yet. We won't for a couple hours. We set sail about 4 p.m. Look at these windows. And here we are. We're at the very, very front of the ship. If you look down there, you can see people on the lower deck where the helicopter lands. And they're hanging out. And there's the USS Iowa, which you can tour after you come back. Pretty cool. And there is all the shipping stuff. Tons and tons and tons of shipping stuff. Anyway, really looking forward to this. I know there's a suite just like us on the other side. Not sure how far away. Looks like they're a ways away. All right. Here we go.